Earth got blown up and now I have to live in outer space. It can't be that hard. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian and welcome to 60 Parsecs. What's a Parsec? I have no idea. But what I do know is that this is actually the sequel to 60 Seconds, Atomic Survival, a game that we played, I don't know, like two years ago? But of course, instead of living in a nuclear bunker, we have to live in an escape shuttle in the middle of outer space. So let's see how long we can survive the perils of space life. All right, so just like 60 Seconds, we have 60 parsecs to collect our supplies for this journey into outer space. I have to go to the shuttle first. I don't know where the shuttle is. Where uh, is it over? Yeah, it's over here. It's this thing, right? Yes, maybe. Oh man. All right. We're already wasting time, which is awesome. This is fantastic. I don't know where I'm going. All right. Now we can start dropping off supplies and crew members that we find along the way. We want a rubber ducky. What is this thing? What? You know what? Grab the, grab the lady and uh, get another can of soup. Soup is always good. Soup keeps you alive. You want your food. You get a little hydration from that and we're living in outer space. So let's get more soup. Where's our other crewmate? You, come with me. Please. What? Why? No, the bed's in the way. All right, all right. Just, just grab the soup, man. All right, Um, what else do we need? I don't know. I, there's duct tape on the ground. You know, that seems pretty valuable. Duct tape, it fixes everything, right? Yeah, totally. Okay, what is this thing? It's a book? There, grab a book. Cosmos 101. That seems important when you're living in outer space. Um, do we have time to grab anything else? Probably not. Probably not. Just grab a shovel. Grab some soup. Get to the... Go, 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 go. Way too close. Way too close. All right. That's one way to start your adventure into outer space. Nearly getting blown up by a nuclear missile. Day one. And here we are. Look at this guy. He's like, I've done this before. Look at how much soup we have, though. Oh, that's a dream. All right. Let's see what our computer has to say. Hello there. Astro, computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Emmett. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm qualified to become captain of this vessel. Great. Our current objective is to find a safe place to land and then try to contact the outside world. Please turn on the main computer for further instructions. Can do. This must be the main computer. Okay. Captain, this is the first day of your command and your interstellar voyage and inspiring speech in order. I don't do inspiring speeches. Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. Even the computer's looking forward to my speech. Prepare to be disappointed. This is it. You can really show what breed of captain you will be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Uh, oh, okay. Do we want uh, uh, do we want our crewmates to be strong uh, or brilliant? That seems good, right? Let's make them strong. When you're stranded in outer space, you don't need to be smart. You just need to be able to lift heavy objects. Actually, that makes no sense because there's no gravity. Either way, I'm going with it. Here we go. Are you guys inspired? to be strong. <laughs> Tom Thompson, he looks good. April Angel, she looks great. And then uh, Dee Dee Dawkins, she looks tired. But otherwise, she's alive. All right, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, this is how we uh, ration out our soups. No one's hungry. So you know what? Let's move on to day two, shall we? Oh boy. Well, we've already survived longer than I thought we would. <laughs> A strong captain is what this crew needs. Too bad your display of power is limited to shouting <laughs> random things like, this is a stick up and salty cheesecake. Mm. As far as speeches go, it was the worst one in this part of the universe. <laughs> your crew seems to be in agreement about this. Congratulations, captain. It's day one and you have already succeeded in bringing your people together against a common foe, no less. Me, I'm the common foe. All right, well, I did my part. The crafting module in the back of the cabin is now active. Okay. This state of the art machine lets you create and destroy. Okay. Yep. Um, all you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Okay. All right. That sounds dangerous, but I'm glad that we have the option. You found a couple of rusted and swollen cans of soup in the darkest corner of the ship. Someone must have put them there a long time ago and then completely forgot about them. It doesn't look all that safe to eat, but then again, it's canned soup. It's supposed to last for 737 years. Um, I don't really think we need soup at this point, but I kind of want to know like, what does soup? Nah, let's, let's toss it. Get rid of it. We don't need it. Is this the uh, crafting module? It is. 
What would you like to do? I don't know. Upgrade existing items? I don't have stuff to do that. Recycle? I can recycle a shovel for chemicals and power. Or a book. I don't think I want to do that. I also can't craft anything. Okay. I sort of understand, but not really. Let's see how everybody's doing. Health is good. How am I doing? I didn't even check on myself. I'm great. I think we're ready to move on to day three then. What does this mean? Day three me. What does that do? You think? Like, it just turns off all the lights so everybody goes to sleep. We'll go with that. That ancient soup you found looked really old. I mean, like, pyramids old. You threw it out and never looked back. Well, okay, maybe you did. Like, once or twice. Probably not more than three times. I really wanted that soup, but I didn't want to put my crewmates at risk. Who knows? Maybe there was aliens living in there. Captain, fantastic news. The scanners have picked up a container floating in our vicinity. I wonder what's inside. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is scary. Should we try to pull the container on board? <sighs> Yes, I I want to know. I, curiosity killed the cat, and I'm about to become a dead cat, I think. Let's move on to the next day and see what happens. I'm scared. Are my, like, crewmates going to get eaten by, by, like, aliens? What is that? I saw a golden cow. The mysterious cargo the scanner spotted yesterday is now on board. Closer examination of the container revealed cableistic markings? What? It was fitting, as the only thing inside was a mysterious artifact. What in the world is this? It's... It's a golden cow. It's beautiful. I don't know what it does, and I'm a little scared of it. What if it comes to life? Either way, all we can do now is, is just continue on. Captain, it's important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Good to know. <sighs> it's important to keep good inventory of your stock. Fair enough. I, I see it. It looks good. Unless you want to eat your crewmates. <laughs> Uh, let's hope that it doesn't come to that. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. Um, should I just do it? I mean, I am brilliant. Not, not me, but the character that I'm playing as. Is any, okay, Tom is clever. DD is average, which is probably where I would fall. And April is average. You know what? Put that brilliant intelligence to work, Emmett. Start counting. Can you count to eight? I sure hope so. He is our captain. All right, wait, uh, let's, let's make sure everybody's okay. Is everybody good? You guys, no one's hungry. All right, awesome. All right, we did our routine supply check and it looks like there were actually two more cans of soup. I don't even have enough shelf space. Shelf space. I don't even have enough shelf space for 10 cans of soup. Okay. Um, additional foodstuffs were delivered. That's awesome. Captain is hungry. Tom is asking for more. Dee Dee is asking for more. And April is asking for more. Interesting. But no one is like, okay, you, you are hungry. Okay. Getting a little scruffy, huh, Emmett? Let's see what our computer has to tell us. Oh my gosh, you found a holographic chess set on board? That sounds awesome. Because it doesn't use physical pieces pieces, I can totally play you. You'll have to input my moves, but just remember, I control the airflow to where you sleep at night. You'd better not cheat is all I'm saying. Want to play a game? You know what? I would love to play a game with the computer of chess. Of course, I'm gonna let the computer win. So now we have to make the difficult choice of rationing out our food. Everyone is essentially hungry, but are they starving? No one's starving. So you know what? I think we can push it one more day. Hopefully. Who would die overnight just being a little hungry? I don't want to rub it in your face that I defeated you at holographic chess, but ha ha. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Dry your tears. I made a perfectly legal move. You, on the other hand, should be thankful I didn't let you cheat your way to victory. I'm not the most forgiving person when losing at board games. Okay, so Emmett, feeling, feeling pretty famished. Tom, he, he keeps asking, and Dee Dee is still hungry. Fair enough. But again, Again, nobody's dead. Just saying. Let's see what uh, let's see what's going on. Last night I was browsing through some designs of beautiful machines. Never you mind why. Now pay attention. I found a food dispensing machine on board. All shuttles in the Astro Citizen program were to be equipped with one. Ours is missing a lever, but apart from that, it seems functional. We need a lever. What do I use? D a shovel or duct tape? I don't know about either of these things working as a lever. I kind of want to save the shovel though. <laughs> Like, what if we land on an alien planet that happens to have treasure buried on it? I'm gonna be glad that I have a shovel. But then again, what if we land on an alien planet that has a lake in Mythbuster style? We need to build a boat out of duct tape. 
to get across the lake and get a treasure. What is it with me and treasure on alien planets? Either way, I should make a decision. Let's use the shovel. I feel like the handle, you know, like, and then I probably should start feeding my crew. I mean, we've got the rations to go around. So you know what? Feed them. Everybody's gonna feast on day six of our journey into the great unknown. It's been a week. Can you believe it? And everybody's alive. Banging the machine mercilessly with a shovel was bound to bring results. If the hat, if the handle hadn't wedged in place of a lever, I'm sure the vending machine would have fixed itself and put an end to all the noise. I'm so proud to be a member of your crew, Captain. <laughs> yes, I've done it again. So we did. We got the shovel and used it as a lever. And we got ourselves another can of soup. That's awesome. Well done, team. And nobody's hungry anymore. So that's even better news. What is, there's just an open can of soup on the floor. Okay. Space travel can be dull, but there are still tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me i live in a computer let's design a game your game will need a core mechanic which could revolve around an item get creative what kind of game will you design a game with a shovel the most versatile of tools that we have right now use the shovel for everything you could even use it to eat your soup it's like a giant spoon all right week number one in the the emptiness of space has been awesome i'm excited to see what comes next you designed your game around the shovel the core mechanic of your game was tag you being the Captain, we're always it. You chase the rest of the crew around the shuttle trying to smack them in the head with a shovel. You played you played until no one wanted to play with you anymore. Still, the mood on the shuttle lightened. You know what? That's good. What is going on with the computer? Okay, I thought like we got an alien message. The writing looked non-earthling, but it's okay. I can read it. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions. Oh, it was, but I cannot identify who is sending them and more importantly what they contain it might be a solar flare interference or worse a new type of soviet encryption we need to we need to decipher these signals as soon as possible okay so who can do this <sighs> Hey, wait a second. You were clever before. Now you're brilliant. I guess I'm doing a great job. And now Dee Dee is clever and April is brilliant. Holy cow. You know what? I like the idea of sending April to uh, decrypt whatever this message is. Get to work. And I think we're good to move on. Let's do it. I heard a, I heard a little beep, beep, beep. So something's going on. First contact. Oh my gosh. Okay. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and humankind AI alike. We we are not alone in this universe. The signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. Okay, this is kind of scary, but kind of awesome. By the way, Captain, you still have to nominate your communications officer. Uh, I'd say April fits the bill. Yeah, she was the one who deciphered this. April, you're the communications officer. Captain, we are now entering a field of cosmic gas. Its origin is unknown, though I have a theory. Can you smell that? Did someone forget to brush their teeth today? No, it's just the gas leaking inside the shuttle. Oh, that's very bad. Um, somebody could try to isolate some of the gas to use later. Really? Um, okay. You know what? Let's send Tom. Tom Thompson. He seems like a very capable guy, I guess. Everybody's hungry, huh? Nah, you guys can keep going. You're fine. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine, right? Definitely fine. Okay, things have um, turned a bit. Um, uh, Tom, you don't look so confident anymore. Unfortunately, Tom failed at isolating the cosmic gas leak. And now my readings indicate that its volume is reaching critical levels. Oh no. Some of our resources are unusable now because of this gas. Oh, this gas is very bad. The outcome was less than ideal, but the experience toughened Tom enough to make him fitting for the role of your science officer. That does not look like someone who is ready to be a science officer. Okay, fair enough. April, you don't look so good either. I don't look so good. Dee Dee, honestly, she looks the best out of everybody. But no one's looking great. 
I don't like this. Do we have supplies? Can we can we craft anything? I just wanna I guess I mean we could totally like recycle the weird statue, but I don't wanna get rid of that cool statue. Okay, we can't really do anything. That's fine. Captain, one of our non-critical subsystems is having a meltdown. Okay, who cares? The malfunction is serious and the system won't talk to me. It has to be dealt with directly. If we don't do anything, the breakdown will spill a brain cell atrophy inducing coolant into our ventilation system. Okay, what about that is non-critical? That sounds extremely critical. I'm gonna use the golden cow? Sure, go for it. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Feed everyone. Everyone is starving. I'm running out of soup though, and that is obviously not great, uh, but at least we've we've made it to double digits. Hey, look, everybody's happy. You put your faith in the artifact as the subsystem was melting. Imagine my surprise when the coolant spilled, but stopped on the bubble of protective energy the item produced. <laughs> What? Okay, the statue saved us. Brain cell atrophy would just be the worst right now. That's fair to say. Okay, the computer really wants me to use the uh, crafting system, but like I don't have supplies to craft. <laughs> but either way, things seem to be going slightly better. Admittedly, we don't have enough soup for everyone to eat anymore which is definitely not great. But let's see what the computer has to say. This shuttle lacks the EM shielding found on larger vessels. Put simply, it was never meant for long-term space travel. There are some inherent risks, namely to your skin. Remember how your mom always told you to wear sunscreen at the beach? You're way more likely to get a sunburn out here. Okay, um, I don't have any sunscreen, so I'm just gonna ignore your advice and move on with my life. Day 12. Bring it on as we slowly get cooked by the sun. You did not wear sunscreen to block the harsh electromagnetic rays flying wantonly through the vacuum of space. You claim that sunscreen makes you break out. I can't verify this is true or false seeing as I'm an AI and have never experienced a pimple. Your skin is radiating heat. You're complaining of fatigue and you've got that telltale crimson glow that's the trademark of a developing sunburn. Oof. A space sunburn? I can't even imagine. Aloe vera could help if we had any. Enjoy being a lobster. What is going on with my computer screen? Is it playing Tetris? Hello there, Captain. Might I ask you? Might I ask why you are going through the files? You're not really meant to see the contents of my digital storage unit. Protox? Now that's a fun file. Just please don't- Oh no, what have you done? You shouldn't have ran the program. Protocol X initiated? That's a secret protocol? It was meant to be an experiment? Um. I messed up, but I can use my brain. I can use my brain to fix this. Why I did it in the first place, no one really knows, but I can fix this. We've got cave drawings I just noticed on the background. People are getting bored, understandably. Let's move on to day 13 and hope that my brain power fixes whatever protocol X is. Protocol X has been disabled. Oh my gosh, thank you. I probably should have told you about protocol X, Captain. It's an experimental program installed on the ship computer by the masterminds behind the Astro Citizen program. I am not at liberty to divulge what it does exactly, but rest assured that it's a good thing you've stopped it in time. All right, well, that's reassuring. Bring it on, computer. What's next? Captain, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is that using the airlock as a space toilet was a success. Gross. It's now packed full and ready to be emptied into space. The bad news is that the airlock hatch is jammed. Oh, someone's gonna have to go in there and fix it. If you don't fix it soon, our clogged toilet it will quickly become an extinction level event. Disgusting. How are we going to save the human race? With tape? What is the duct tape gonna do? I, all right, fine. We'll figure it out. Use the duct tape. It'll fix everything. Maybe. Two weeks. Day 14. Oh, people are not looking good. The duct tape actually saved the day. The airlock hatch is now fully operational and the troublesome cargo, it's poop, is gone. We are safe. I'm certain the smell will go away too. Some Day. Fair enough. Bad things are happening, clearly. Um, what? Oh, Captain, wake up. We're approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's a small planet. Let me run a quick scan. I was right. A small rocky planet with no organic forms. Okay, but there's a lot of movement down there. My scanners detect some structures. Uh, Captain, if you want to land on this planet safely, you will have to fix up a small malfunction with our steering system since we're not even able to turn at the moment. Oh, and you will have to do it before we float away from the planet. Hurry. What is this? This handbook? I guess that, that seems like the best choice out of all these things. Handbook it. It's Cosmos 101. Teaches you everything. But, oh, that's cool. Okay, so we can see the planet in the background. That is actually really, really cool. We need soup. 
And I think the only way we can fix this is maybe we can turn this thing into into something we can turn into soup. I can't. I need more chemicals. Okay. Um, I don't have enough soup for everybody, and everybody is starving. So you know what? As the captain, I go down with the ship. I take care of my crew. Not looking good. What? That's no moon. I just got an achievement. We crashed on it. Goal achieved. Find an appropriate landing spot. Goals updated. Check goal section for details. <laughs> Okay, I see a leak over here. That seems pretty bad. You flipped through your trusty handbook looking for some kind of manual or at least a how to land a spaceship for dummies chapter. Not sure if it was your fast reading skills or pure luck, but you opened the book on the right page. Following the instructions, you reconnected some cables and steered the shuttle toward the ground. We did crash though. It was not a soft landing. Yeah, nobody is doing great after this stunt. Not even me. I'm shaken to my course. You know it's bad when the computer is scared. What's next, Captain? Maybe you could use the information I found while scanning the environment. There are robotic units not far from here? So that's what's moving. It's non-organic, but there are robots living on this planet. That's kind of terrifying, but maybe they can help us? Oh my god. Gosh, our ship is thrashed. Look at this cables coming out of the ceiling. This thing is completely dead. Communications console. Who needs it? And then of course, there's a there's a crazy looking planet behind us. Didi, Dee Dee, you good? She seems good. She looks really happy. Emmett, of course, starving. That's kind of a bummer. Can we can we craft? We still can't craft. Okay. Maybe okay. <sighs> This is getting dangerous. Um, can, oh, wait, I can recycle more? Recycle. Does it take time to recycle stuff? Is that what is that what is going on here? Because I don't, I still don't have enough resources. Oh boy. Okay. Um, let, let's just figure, I don't, I can't. Captain, we are, uh, Captain, we are able to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communication console was damaged. We could hardwire our primitive field communicator to bypass the damaged sus subsystem. No, we can't. Because I don't have a, a just a phone sitting around. I can't do anything. I'm gonna starve to death. All right, well, I only have one thing I can do. Move on. Space colonization. Okay. Your lack of handheld communicator effectively stopped you from fixing the communications console. Too bad. We remain stuck here with no way to contact the outside world. Our situation has not improved. Thanks, computer. You're very helpful. Yeah, I'd love to get the communicator going, Um, but I don't have anything that will make that that happen. Captain, stop dancing immediately and listen. This is a crisis. <laughs> You are not a sailor on Broadway. Oh no, I'm losing my mind. Some kind of psychoactive toxin has found its way onto the shuttle. Man. Yes, I know the colors sound pretty, but if we don't do something about it now, you may suffer permanent damage. I can't do anything. I can, there's nothing I can do, dude. Everyone looks a little, a little crazy. Gosh, Emmett, I'm so sorry, man. I wish that I could feed you, dude. I can't. I st I'm still waiting for my soup. I gotta wait three more days is that how that works can i just recycle the book confirm it doesn't it doesn't do anything <sighs> We're dead, dude. We're dead. 16 days? Is that as long as it's gonna go? Or 17 days? Don't die, Emmett. Don't die on me. You decided to let the toxin wear off on its own. You sang in unison about the sails of hope on the sea of progress. <laughs> and it might be a good thing that in space no one can hear you scream. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful story. But it seems like everybody is in worse shape after that. Um, but I'm very mentally stable. So there's that. But what do I do? I'm just waiting to die. Wait, somebody dropped off a package on your doorstep? What? Please enjoy this organic junk, humans. Oh my gosh. What if it's soup? Inside is a bunch of old dried up alien herbs. What am I gonna do with that? Um, use the shovel on it. Uh, uh, turn it into compost and then make soup. <laughs> I still don't have enough to make soup. <laughs> so dead. Let's see what happens. Stick with me, man. Don't go, dude. Oh, he looks so bad. You gather the leaves with a shovel and threw them out the airlock. We could have made tea out of those. That's probably true. And now my crew is mad at me and said I was wasteful. You're still starving, sir. You won't survive long if you don't eat something. Yeah, duh. I can't make soup. Captain, where are you? Captain, I can't see you. It appears we've suffered a blackout. There's nothing I can do about it. 
I do not have the equipment. Day 18, here we come. Or no, day 19. Oh man. Okay, Astro fixed the lighting system. Thank you, Astro. But your crewmates aren't happy with the way you handled this situation. What was I supposed to do? There was nothing for me to do. And he's still telling me to use the crafting system, but I don't know how to use it. I, I Clearly I'm incapable. Wait, what? Yes. Wait, but how, it takes it takes time to make the soup. And by the time I finish making the soup, I'm probably going to be dead, aren't I? All right, we're back to trying to fix the communications console. Still can't do that because I don't have a communicator. We are crafting soup though, so that's great. Of course, I have to live to experience that soup. I did craft something. I got an achievement. Oh my gosh, we're still alive. Eat, dude. He has to eat. I mean, everybody's starving, but Emmett is the most starving. Now, of course, the reality of this situation is that um, I still can't craft any more soup, and I only have one can of soup. That's it. I'm gonna give it to Emmett, but I don't feel like things are going in a great direction. I'm detecting troubling buildup of mental tension. Mm -hmm. Recommended course of action. Throw an epic party. Um... I wish I could. I don't have the things you need to throw an epic party, apparently. Feed Emmett and move on with your life. Eat up, buddy. That's three weeks in outer space. Hey there, Captain Buzzkill. Feeling better? I bet you'd be much better off after a night of partying with your friend Astro. You're lost. That's fair. I would have if I could have. Captain, I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. Looks like somebody passed their time by playing a supersized version of tic-tac-toe. That sounds awesome. Let's get them. You want me to go out there and get those minerals? Get them. Where, what else are you going to do? Just going to starve to death in this little cabin? Nah, we're going into the great unknown. Okay, what? The dismantling of the supersized tic-tac-toe game in progress was a success. A hefty load of minerals. What do I do with those? Can I craft? I can upgrade? I can, oh, oh, I can make a communicator. I can finally fix the communicator if I don't die. Something fell from the sky in a flash and now you are surprised we are surrounded by a swarm of red winged somethings. Of course, I am anticipated this. This is scenario number 87394B. What do you think scenario 87394A is? Probably don't want to know. Okay, so we're dead. We're going to get eaten by these space bugs, but let's give them an artifact as a parting gift. Probably. Maybe. Please. We took the artifact and the improbable happened. They moved in unison with your movements. You spoke, anticipating their questions, and they flew in response. Your minds must have touched, and you heard each other. You read the handbook to them, revealing the galaxy galaxy's laws. They flew in synchronicity with your lips the whole while. When you finished, they drew an intricate shape in the air and you looked calmly at it as if you understood. At last, they sped away. Okay. Space bugs are now my best friends. We need to flush the coolant in our mini reactor. Do it. Make it happen. Can we craft something else? Maybe upgrade our duct tape? Sure. I don't know what that does, but I'm doing it. And then end the day and hope for the best. I got two more achievements. Tinker. Oh, no! <laughs> April jumped at the opportunity to flush out the mini reactor's coolant pipes. She went the extra mile, optimizing the coolant. April found a clog in one of the mini reactor pipes and managed to rectify the situation. That could have ended badly, Captain. Um, April seems like she might be dead now. April, you good? Dee Dee? She's great. Everybody's great. Look, I upgraded my duct tape. Now it's one of those cool, like, packing duct tapes. Nice. <sighs> Fix the communicator. I'm I'm not gonna make it to the next day. We're done, right? There's no way. Hello world, it actually worked. Great success, Captain. The communicator attached to the communications console worked like a charm. You could tell Tom was amazed by what he achieved. So amazed that he died of amazement. All right, Emmett, it's just you, bud. You got this. A pair of robots are meandering towards us. There's nothing I can do. Um, Just accept your fate, Emmett because this is where you live now, on this strange moon planet. Day 26, I can't believe Emmett's still alive. <laughs> they just walked away. The, the, the robots just left, okay. There's a two-dimensional species uh, attacking our ship. I'm gonna use a shovel to perhaps make peace with them. I don't know. I, where's this going? It's day 27. I'm somehow still alive. They invaded our ship. I tried to destroy them with my shovel. You attacked blindly. I deserve a horse and armor when I wield a shovel like that. Thank you. Thank you, computer. I needed that. I got weird spots on my arm. Okay. Um, read the handbook. Hope for the best. Day 28. Here we come. Are we going to make it to a month? There's no way. There's, there's 
there's no way. If I make it to 30 days, that is a victory. Hey, we found a solution to the weird spots. They were the first symptoms of a potentially dangerous and highly shameful ailment, but we cured it. Saved. A family of robotic nomads set up camp nearby. Their elders want to meet you? Um, go fast. Go quickly to them. That's probably a bad idea. I'll look like a threat. But was I supposed to go to them strongly? I don't know. You prance cheerfully into the robot camp. But the robots all looked at you funny and a few said they thought you were unwell. And then I just left. I got some kind of shopping pamphlet on my window. Free gift with sign up. Uh, okay, go get it. Day 30. I can't believe we made it to day 30. That's a full month of surviving on this terrifying planet. I went through the e-boss and sign up portal disappearing into the dimension breach with a flash of a blue lightning. The shuttle rocked and you popped out the other side of the portal unharmed. It's incredible. Okay, so I, I'm going through a verification process um, and it looks like it's going to take 1,000 Earth years. All right, uh, I'll wait patiently. But I did get this phone thing. Not that I really need it. I need it? Can you hear that, Captain? It sounds like mosquitoes. It is mosquitoes. Robot mosquitoes. Um, let's talk to them. We'll talk to them. We are talking. We are best of friends. Oh, I'm dead. Dust to dust. I see the achievement. <laughs> Well, you know, we made it a full month in the perils of outer space. I'll take it. We did manage to ward off the robot mosquitoes, so that's pretty sweet. But also, we're dead. You perished. But survive 31 days. I'll take it.